Now, another thing that you want to look at from an order of operations is the manual mitigation plane or the managed services component. That is listed both here under the mitigation tab under the routed map dashboard. This is everything that the SOC will manage for you as part of your defensive postures, whether it's been from previous attacks or we're building uh, proactive defenses. In the Network Cloud Firewall section, it'll be listed here under the Managed Services ACL. So again, these are more indicative of the ACLs that the SOC has configured for you. Now, the thing to remember here is that the Managed Services ACLs are configured on a per data center basis. They are per policy domain bound. So any configurations that are provisioned under that data center will only be applied to those network statements. The customer managed section is applied at the account level, which means that it includes all slash 24's provision. So the block, block and trust list is applied at the account level for all configurations, as well as the customer managed ACLs is applied and configured for all destinations, not what is just provisioned in data center one versus data center two. One thing that you'll note here is we are now showing hit counts. This is a huge improvement uh, and a big request from our customers. So this shows you when the hit count first matched, when it last matched, and when it was last updated, as well as the total hit count. You'll also be able to right click and reset this value or reset all values for that rule. So this is very useful for you. Now you can also go into the actual entitlements. So here you will see that there is a hundred rules that are allowed and configured there are 19 rules that are actually in production. Now this orange here indicates that this clone version is in production. So you see orange here is production, orange here, okay? I'm gonna show you a, a color change that'll show you what is in staging or what is cloned and then what is actively being worked on versus what is in production. The next filter is a, a, exactly that. And its feature is to be able to filter. So you can filter by hit counts. You can filter by what actions are performed. So let's say I only want to see the deny rules or I want to see only the permit rules. OK, you can also look over here for like, let me see all the TCP ones or all the UDP or ICMP or any other protocol that you've set up IP base. Right. You can also look at source port. So let's say I want to look at source port or source IP, right? Again, it's kind of rudimentary, but again, destination IP, you can set up packet length, you can set up extensions. Uh, you can also search by comments. So what I tell a lot of my customers to do is when they build an ACL, they might want to list a comment at the end of the ACL to reference a ticket number or some type of ch control, uh, you know, change control variable that makes sure that they're tracking why that rule was built. Now, to actually go in and make changes to the rule set, uh, you go in here, you can do it from both avenues. You can actually clone this existing production rule and make edits from this view. A lot of my customers actually go to the command line editor, which is typically how you would implement it on a firewall or a router. Uh, and then here you can see the, the rule construction in a little bit more uh, easier command line interface format. So here it is, permit TCP any to this destination equal on that port. And then there it is, there's the allow HTTP. So if we went back to the text table view, you can see that there's the permit TCP on any source port going to this destination IP and destination port, as well as the comment for allow HTTP.